you know, I was an NFL sports agent, so worked with a, a lot of different NFL players, like right out of college, ended up meeting a YouTube group named Dude Perfect, who I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with at this point, uh, and then started my business in 2015, uh, really representing video game YouTubers and Twitch streamers. And that was kind of the start with Typical Gamer, who is still the biggest live streamer today. Uh, and then I met Jimmy through a Twitter DM in 2018. Uh, a friend of ours just started a Twitter group and he was like, you guys need to meet. Jimmy had like 1.3 million subscribers at the time, which is crazy to say now. Um, and we just kind of hit it off from the beginning. And it's now been, you know, almost three years that we've been worked that we've been like working together. Now, when Mr. Beast was at 1.3 million, what were the amount of views he was getting back then? Like, was he was he a big 1.3 million? Was he getting like, you know, 20,000 views a day? What what was his status like back then? He was actually so this was like right when he did his um, like giving pizzas away and giving five thousand dollars to a homeless person. Yeah. And he had just got done watching uh, It's Every Day, bro, for 24 hours straight. Yeah. <laughs> so he was actually pulling like uh, one to two million views a video. Wow. Um, so he was he was significantly pulling more views per video than subscribers at that time but he still hadn't hit that like crazy growth yeah so when you stepped in how did the relationship form as you managing him yeah so it was a small team uh when i first started it was him and chris and then he had an editor and then his mother kind of helped with all the management financials everything like that and so it was just like me building a rapport with her and jimmy over the course of like four months uh, and then I just started taking over basically all the brand stuff that he was trying to do. Uh, and then now pushing into like different companies and things that we wanted to do together. But it was a slow burn. Um, I'm more about like liking the people I work with, having a relationship with them. And so it wasn't something where I was like, hey, man, I want to manage you. I know I just met you last week. Uh, we actually took a lot of time to get to know each other, spoke a lot on the phone. I could tell like the moment I met him, he had a different understanding of YouTube mm -hmm. that I had not heard before. And so it was a really interesting like few months just like getting to know this kid who at the time only had a million subscribers, but he kept telling me, he's like, I will have 10 million subscribers by the end of the year. And this was February of 2018. Uh, and we ended up, I think he ended up with 13.6 million by the end of that year. Wow. And what exactly does like managing me like mean to a yeah. creator and what kind of creator would need a manager? Yeah. I, I like to say it's more like babysitting than anything. Um, especially with some of the bigger creators now, because they have just so much, so many things around their, like, I'd say like ecosystem, right? They have all these people asking for things. They have all these brands wanting to spend money. They probably have like a charitable initiative. Uh, and, and my philosophy has always been, you know, if you can grow enough, enough like distribution, if you can grow a big enough brand, then we can build businesses around that. Right. And so with Jimmy, like we do things like Mr. Beast Burger, uh, we did things like finger on the app and we're going to continue to launch companies. And so I think my role as a manager has changed from, Hey, I'm going to help you with like brand deals to now I'm really just your business partner, helping you execute on all these other things outside of just content. Yeah. 